after studying this module, you shall be able to know about thin layer chromatography, high performance thin layer chromatography, the instrumentation and working of the apparatus, the applications of TLC and HPTLC. The word chromatography is originated from the Greek word chroma meaning color and graphos meaning writing. Thin layer chromatography also called as TLC is a kind of liquid chromatography in which the stationary phase is a form of a thin layer on the glass or aluminum or any plastic support. The term planar chromatography is frequently used for both thin layer chromatography as well as paper chromatography as each of its employs a planar stationary phase rather than a packed column. TLC or thin layer chromatography was introduced by Ismailov and Schreber in year 1938. TLC is often called as drop, strip, spread layer, surface chromatography and open column chromatography. TLC as a technique for analytical adsorption chromatography was initially introduced by Stehel in 1958 that was mainly responsible for bringing out standard equipment of thin layers. They separated the extracts obtained from plants using alumina as a stationary phase on glass plates. Cosden, Gordon and Martin in 1944 started using filter papers and worked on amino acid separation which met considerable success. Kirchner in 1950 was the first to separate and identify the terpenes. TLC is an offline process in which the numerous stages are carried out independently. The benefits of thin layer chromatography are open, disposable layer including the possibility of separating up to 70 samples and standards simultaneously on a single plate, leading to a high throughput, low cost analysis and the ability to construct calibration curves from the standard chromatograph under the same conditions as the samples, analyzing samples with the minimum sample preparation without fear. Examining a sample by the use of multiple separation steps and static post chromatographic detection procedures with the various universal and specific visualization reagents, this is promising because all these sample components are stored on the layer without any chances of loss. Commercially, a large number of layers are available and hence Thin layer chromatography is highly flexible and selective. An apparent disadvantage of TLC is that although all the individual steps have been automated and an online coupling with other chromatographic and spectrometric methods has been achieved, complete automation of TLC has still not been realized. Principle Similar to other chromatographic techniques, TLC is also dependent on the principle of separation. The separation is decided by the adsorption and relative affinity of the compounds towards the stationary and the mobile phase. The compounds under the effect of the mobile phase, which are driven by a capillary action, travel over the external surface of the stationary phase. During this movement, the compounds with the higher affinity to the stationary phase travel slowly while the others travel faster. Thus, the separation of the constituents in the mixture is achieved. Once the separation takes place, individual constituents are viewed as spots at respective levels of displacement on the plate. The nature or character are recognized by the means of suitable detection methods. Stationary phase. In TLC, the stationary phase is solid adsorbent material dissolved in a particular solvent. These plates are available in the market in the form of pre-coated layer supported on the glass, plastic sheets or aluminum foil. Popular coating materials are silica gel, 
alumina, cellulose powder and Kesselgar. The selection of the stationary phase depends on the nature of the sample to be analyzed. Other stationary phases include calcium phosphate, polyamide, silica gel alumina, acetylated cellulose and ferric oxide hydrate and magnesium trisilicate. It is often observed that the binding of these constituents to the stationary plate is difficult. Hence, the binder known as gypsum is used. This small quantity is present in the adsorbent material which enables them to bind efficiently. Nowadays, the various adsorbing materials are available namely silica gel G, alumina G etc. where the letter G indicates the gypsum that is present in the adsorbent material. Normal phase or straight phase adsorption TLC on silica gel with less polar mobile phase such as chloroform methanol is the most frequently used mode. In real practice, thin layer chromatography utilizes the inert fluorescent ingredients such as zinc silicate to coating materials and addition of these substances does not change the chromatographic characteristics of an adsorbent. These fluorescent materials subsequently help in the detection of the separated compounds. Such separated substances show up as a dark spot on the green fluorescent indicator. While choosing a stationary phase, one would focus on the nature of the sample, the solubility of the adsorbing material and finally the nature of the adsorbing material such as acidic, basic or amphoteric. Preparation of thin layer in plates. While preparing a TLC plate, the primary requirement is that the layer should be consistent throughout the plate. To meet these criteria, there is a large amount of applicators that are available at a commercial level and are used for coating the glass plates with the diverse adsorbing materials of even thickness. Most of the methods use the coating material in the form of a slurry or a suspension in some liquids. The steps involved are pouring. In this technique, a measured amount of the slurry is put on the given size of a plate which is kept at a level of a surface. For the slurry to spread uniformly over the surface, the plate is moved back and forth. This method is of application of the stationary phase is easy and commonly used in the daily TLC analysis. Dipping. This technique was developed by Pfeffer in 1962. The plates are arranged by dipping them at time back to back in chloroform slurry of the adsorbent. This method is generally not used due to its disadvantages. Spring. This technique was first proposed by Red Sima and employs a small point sprayer for the distribution of slurry on the glass plates. Nowadays, ready to use pre-coated TLC plates are available commercially. However, these are quite expensive. Activation of adsorbent. Activation of chromatographic plates involves the removal of the liquid content from the stationary phase. For this purpose, the TLC plate is permitted to dry at temperature followed by drying in the oven at 110 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. The activation period for the TLC plates varies with the different adsorbing materials. Purification of silica gel G layers. Silica gel G contains iron as an impurity which causes a considerable distortion of the chromatographs. Iron free layers are obtained by giving the coated and air dried plates a preliminary development with methanol and concentrated HCl. This leaves the iron to migrate at the top level of the plate and reactivation can be performed on the TLC plate. Sample application Agla micro syringe is generally used for transferring the sample solution to thin layers of quantitative work. However, the use of capillary tubes is preferred for the qualitative analysis. Solvent used for the sample solution should be volatile and as non-polar as possible. Solvent system or mobile phase in TLC. Mobile phase is liquid in thin layer chromatography. 
the mobile phase is usually a combination of two to five different solvents selected empirically using trial and error method. Guided by prior personal experience and literature reports of similar separations. In addition, various systematic mobile phase optimization approaches involving solvent classification, selectivity and the allotropic series which is the strength. Solvents like diethyl ether, isopropanol, ethanol, tetrahydrofuran, acetic acid, dichloromethane, ethyl acetate, dioxane, toluene, chloroform, hexane etc. are commonly used. TLC is usually carried out with the single mobile phase instead of using mobile phase gradient. Chromatogram development. TLC is always carried out in the elution mode. After the sample solvent has evaporated, the plate is placed in a closed container saturated with the vapors of the developing solvents. After the developer has transferred one half to two third of the length of the plate, the latter is removed and dried and the position of the compound are determined by number of waves. Evaluation of a chromatogram. As can be seen here on the figure, the origin point and the development point on the adsorbent layer can be marked. And the RF values are calculated from the point of the application to the solvent front as a ratio from the point of component which is adsorbed on the given surface. RF is defined as distance travelled by the spot over the distance travelled by the solvent. A few of the examples have been depicted here and it has to be noted that the RF values are always less than 1. Both quantitative and the qualitative analysis is possible by using TLC. In qualitative analysis, the RF value that is the retention factor of every individual compound helps the analyst to distinguish between the two compounds since the RF value for each and every compound is unique. Quantitative analysis can be performed directly on TLC plate itself or after removing the substance from the TLC plate and then determined after the elution is also called as an indirect method. Applications of TLC Quantitative determination of high molecular weight compound particularly in medical and biological research. TLC can provide rapid low cost qualitative analysis and screening in order to obtain information such as sample stability purity and uniformity and to follow the path of reaction. The TLC has been applied virtually in all areas of analysis including chemistry, biochemistry, biology, industrial, agricultural, environmental, food, pharmaceutical, clinical, natural products, toxicology, forensic, plant science, bacteriology and entomology. Rate of organic reaction identification of the organic compound such as alcohol, alkaloids, amines, amino acids, proteins, peptides, antibiotics, etc. Separation of inorganic ions such as zinc and iron, separation of amino acids and vitamins. High performance thin layer chromatography also termed as HPTLC. HPTLC is organized and automatic form of thin layer chromatography with improved and unconventional separation and detection parameters. It is also known as high pressure thin layer chromatography, planar chromatography or flat bed chromatography. Nowadays HPTLC is more used than TLC and HPLC because HPTLC does not require the sample application, development of the chromatogram and detection and so on. Few of the improvements of HPTLC but not limited to are the use of high grade TLC plates with better quality particle size in the stationary phase that allows better and distinct resolution, shorter analysis time 
and the detection limit in the nanogram range with the UV absorption detection also in the picogram range with fluorimetry detection are advantages of these plates. The greater efficiency of these plates is demonstrated by the fact that they provide typically about 4000 theoretical plates over the distance of 3 cm in 10 minutes compared with 2000 theoretical plates over 12 cm in 25 minutes for the conventional TLC plate. It is not just instrumental TLC but also concepts that include widely standardized methodology based by validated methods, sophisticated instruments controlled by an integrated software platform ensure to maximum probable level the usefulness, consistency and reproducibility of the general data. Features of HPTLC Technically, it is easy to become skilled at and operate several analysts work simultaneously on the system and there is availability of wide range of stationary phases with selectivity for mixture components. Chromatographic layer, sorbent requires no regeneration as TLC, HPTLC plates can be disposed after its use. The choice of solvents is not restricted by low UV transparency or by the requirement for the ultra high purity. Corrosive and UV absorbing mobile phases can be used. No preceding treatment for these solvents like filtration and degassing. There is no possibility of obstruction from the previous analysis as fresh stationary and mobile phases are used for each analysis. No carryover, hence no contamination. Accuracy and correctness of quantification is high because samples and standards are chromatographed and measured under the identical experimental conditions on a single HPTLC. Principle HPTLC takes place in a high speed capillary flow range of a mobile phase. There are three main steps in HPTLC. Sample to be analyzed to chromatogram layer, volume accuracy and suitable spot are achieved by the use of suitable instruments. Solvent, mobile phase moves the intended distances in the layer, stationary phase by capillary action. In this process, sample gets separated in its components. Partition tracks are scanned in densitometer with light beam invisible or UV region. Working and instrumental procedure. Automatic plate coater. The glass plates to be coated are conveyed underneath a hopper filled with the adsorbent suspension. A layer thickness is determined by either a permanent gate with the preset spaces of 300 and 500 microns or by a gate with modifiable thickness of 0 to 2 millimeters. The plates are stimulated by motorized transmission system at the consistent feeding rate of 10 centimeters per second to ensure a homogeneous layer. The following chart represents how the HPTLC is carried over with the help of the sample and the standard preparation, application of the sample and the standard, chromatographic development, detection of spots, scanning and documentation. Sample application. Sample application is the first step in the workflow of a planar chromatography and it considerably affects the quality of the results at the end of the process. Spot wise sample application using the fixed volume capillary is the simplest way. Sample volumes of 0.5 to 5 micron liter can be applied as spots into conventional layers without intermediate drying. On HPTLC layers it is up to 1 microliter per spot. Spraying on the samples are fine bands allows the application of significantly larger volumes. To ensure best resolution, a chromatographic system should be selected such that the starting zones should have fine bands. Very large sample volumes or samples with elevated matrix content can be sprayed on in the form of rectangles which 
prior to chromatography are focused into fine bands by a small development step with the solvent of high elution strength. Process in developing chamber. The lower end of the plate should be immersed several millimeters. The developing solvent which is driven by a capillary action moves up the layer till the desired distance is attained and the chromatographic process stops. Choosing a developing chamber. Selection of a proper chamber is done in method development and usually follows a realistic considerations such as which chamber is accessible, which one must be used due to an SOP or which one has been used in the past if the results comparison is to be done. However, a focus is required on the economic aspects as per time requirement and the solvent consumption. The horizontal developing chambers are remarkably cost effective, flexible and reproducible in operation. These chambers are made for applications wherein the plate is developed from two sides and they are also appropriate for the single sided development in the unsaturated, saturated and sandwich configuration as well as for preconditioning of the HPTLC plates. Stationary phase. HPTLC uses smaller plates 10 by 10 or 10 by 20 centimeter with the significantly decreased development distance typically 6 cm and analysis time 7 to 20 minutes. HPTLC plates should be stored under suitable environment. Before use, the plates should be inspected underneath white and UV light to identify any kind of a damage and impurities in the adsorbent. Pre-wash the plates to get better reproducibility of the results. Mobile phase. The selection for the mobile phase that moves through the adsorbent material taken as stationary phase is done on the basis of chemical and physical properties of the analyte. The volumetric measurements of the components of the selection of the mobile phase is carried out separately and precisely in ample volumetric glass sphere and is properly shaken for proper mixing of the components. Volumes smaller than 1 ml are measured with the suitable micro pipettes. The volumes up to 20 ml are measured with the graduated volumetric pipette of the suitable size. Volumes larger than 20 ml are measured with the graduated cylinder of the appropriate size. To minimize the volume errors, developing solvents are prepared in the volume that is sufficient for one working day. Post chromatographic derivatization. Thin layer chromatography has an intrinsic advantage where the fractions remain stored on the plate and can be derivatized after chromatography. Those substances that are do not respond to the ultraviolet or the visible light can be rendered detectable with the help of derivatization. In most of the instances, the help of the specific reagent substances, classes of substances can be easily identified. Altering non-absorbing substances into detectable derivatives, enhancing the detectability, lowering the detection limits, detecting of samples constituents, selectivity detecting certain substances and inducing fluorescence. The technique of derivatization is accomplished by spraying liquid, immersing or dipping and with the help of gases. In any case, the reagent needs to be homogeneously transferred to the chromatogram. The transfer of homogeneous reagent can be achieved by immersing the TLC plate in the derivatizing A reagent. Dipping and withdrawing has to be performed smoothly in order to evade tide marks. Using the chromatogram immersion device, the reproducibility of the derivatization step can be significantly improved compared to spraying. Besides, in this derivatization technique, fumes are not generated and there is limited exposure to the hazardous chemicals. If the reagent is appropriate, dipping should be preferred over spraying. During spraying, particularly for the quantitative evaluation, it must be ensured that the homogeneous fine spray mist is generated. Reproducibility of the derivatization by spraying is greatly dependent on the skill of the operator. 
most chemical reactions used in derivatization require heating or completion. Chromatogram evaluation. HPTLC equipments are supplied with computer and data recording and storing devices. The development of HPTLC plate scanned at selected UV region wavelength instruments and detected spots are seen on computer in the form of peaks. The scanner converts the bond with the peak and peak height or area is related to concentration of the substance or the spot. The peak height and the area under the spot are measured by instrument and recorded as percentage on the printer. The TLC scanner uses the spectral range from 190 to 900 nanometer with the high spectral selectivity for the data acquisition. Absorption spectra for the substance identification and for the selection of most suitable measurement wavelength can be recorded within this range. The strength of classical densitrometry are are the spectral resolution of the light source and the high reproducibility of the quantitative determinations. HPTLC is a modern adaption of TLC with better and advanced separation efficiency and detection limits. The table compares the HPTLC and the TLC. Looking into the table of comparison, we can see the various parameters and the features for which the TLC and the HPTLC has been compared. For example, technique, one is manual while the other is instrumental, layer, it could be a lab made or a pre-coated, shape of the sample could be circular, here it is rectangular and further so many other parameters which have been described here. Advantages of HPTLC, samples in infinite small quantities like nanogram range can be detected least handling and human errors due to automation, better accurateness and sensitivity. Disadvantages, bulky instrumentation, large space required, may fold, many fold time expensive. It requires stringent conditions of operations like dust free environment and the temperature controlled conditions. Technically skilled person with the knowledge to run the system is required. Applications of HPTLC. HPTLC in pharmaceutical products is it is also used in analyzing the purity and the efficacy of many pharmaceutical preparations and dosage forms. The method can be used for quality control and the stability testing of the different dosages forms such as tablets and the capsules as well as for the bulk drug analysis. The method can be successfully applied to the analysis of drugs in the pharmaceutical formulations. HPTLC in the natural products. HPTLC technique is rapid, comparatively simple, robust and extremely versatile. HPTLC not only confirms but also establishes the identity. It is also an ideal screening tool for the adulterations and is highly suitable for evaluation and monitoring of cultivation, harvesting and extraction processes and to testing of the stability of the products of the natural origin. HPTLC is used in fingerprinting analysis of the drugs of natural origin. HPTLC in other fields. HPTLC is used for the purity control of chemicals, pesticides, steroids and water analysis. HPTLC is also widely used for the analysis of vitamins, water soluble food dyes, pesticides in fruits, vegetables and other foodstuffs. The analysis of the stem cell lipids by offline HPTLC maldi tof ms HPTLC is useful in detecting chemicals of forensic concern including drugs of abuse, poisons, adulterations, chemical weapons and illicit drugs. To summarize, the word chromatography is derived from the Greek word chroma, color and graphos, writing. Thin layer chromatography TLC is a type of a liquid chromatography in which the stationary phase is in the form of a layer on a glass or alumina or a plastic support. TLC is based on the principle of separation. The separation depends on the adsorption and relative affinity of the compounds towards stationary and the mobile phase. TLC is applied in the qualitative determination of high molecular weight compound in the identification of organic compounds such as alcohols, 
alkaloids, amines and so on. HPTLC is sophisticated and automated form of thin layer chromatography with better and advanced separation and detection limits. It is also known as high pressure thin layer chromatography, planar chromatography or flat bed chromatography. In HPTLC, sample in minute quantities like nanogram range can be detected. It also provides minimum handling and human errors due to automation. HPTLC is used in analyzing the pharmaceutical products, natural products and fields related to forensic science.